A stunning turn of events in Orange County less than a week after police arrested a suspect in the cold case murder of a college student. As CBS 2's Ali Bauman reports, the suspect is expected to be released from custody tomorrow. When New York State Police arrested 42-year-old Edward Hawley last week for the 2003 murder of his ex-girlfriend Megan McDonald in Wallkill, the victim's family was grateful, while the suspect maintained his innocence. I'm definitely not guilty. I love Megan with all my heart. But District Attorney David Hoovler was slighted, claiming police did not consult his office before making the arrest, saying complicated cases are normally at least partially presented to a grand jury before an arrest is made. And now that the legally required six-day window for a grand jury to indict has passed. CBS2 has learned that Holly will be released from jail on Thursday while the case against him is pending. They did not meet the burden of probable cause for the arrest. They have to ultimately prosecute this thing and you have to follow uh, their rules. Joseph Jackalone is a retired NYPD sergeant who served as commanding officer of the Bronx cold case squad. Is it common for police to make an arrest in a cold case like this without working with the district attorney on it? No. The, the, the issue that comes down to when you're dealing with cold cases, the idea is to bring the prosecutor in at the earliest part of the reinvestigation. McDonald's family expressed disappointment and said the process may not be easy or follow our preferred path, but we will not rest until justice is secured for Megan. Allie Bauman, CBS2 News. And today, the district attorney also requested a special prosecutor be appointed to the case, saying in his prior job, he represented a client regarding potential information in this investigation.